What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alley's here for Impact Gaming Center. We are live and in living color here with round two of our modern FNM. We've got Connor on Demir Asmo Sieve. That's right. We got a infinite, infinite turns kind of kind of deck here for Connor. And then we've got Paul on old fashioned at this point Boros Energy. This is his pet deck that he's been playing for basically since MH3 came out. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Both players are 1-0. and oh. we, are, we are doing it live here. Thank you all so much for joining us here tonight on Twitch.tv slash Impact Gaming Center. However, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. We're going to discard a Times Eve, and we are going... <laughs> Paul, just realizing, uh, oh, this is, this is spicy... Um, taking extra turns, doing the things. Here's an Asmiranda Dice Nicole car. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but let me know in the comics <laughs> or in Twitch chat if I just butchered that, which I probably did. But uh, Asmo going to enter the battlefield. Going to play another cookbook. And we're in there like swimwear. And Paul's going to take his turn. Has an Ocelot Pride in play. And here we go. Alrighty. We're surveilling. We're going to play something. Another pride. Paul says, you have a 3-3, three, three, I'll pass. Going to up the saga. Going to play Minamo. Minamo. Sea's Edge. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining us tonight or today or whenever you're watching this, if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure to hit up impactgamingcenter.gg for all your Magic the Gathering needs. And if you play other games, we've got other TCGs on there, sealed products, singles, and board games, D&D, &D, Warhammer, you name it, we got it. If it is in the tabletop gaming space, we probably have it over at impactgamingcenter.gg. Or if you're in the St. Louis metro area, we are located at 49 Ludwig Drive in the fabulous Fairview Heights. Come on out. Come see us. We'd love to meet you. And game with you. Flage is going to enter the battlefield. What is your target, says Connor. We're going to take down the Asmiranda Disc Knight, the cold car. <laughs> Pluto Delta gets discarded. Make a food. Sack the food. Nuke one of the Ocelot Prides. And up to 21 goes Paul. I think that's a 21. It's hard to see with that Elspeth blinding my face. Make a dude. Connor going to make a construct. Paul going to make a kitty cat with a nice sword. I love those tokens. I don't know who the artist is on those tokens. Those are really cool tokens that Paul has. He, he plays them quite frequently here at Impact. Very sweet. A little cute kitty holding this just massive sword. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Saga so gonna go to three. He's gonna float a mana and go searching for a one drop artifact. One or zero drop artifact. Mishra's bubble. So we have ourselves a 4-4 construct currently. Connor still has the biggest creature on the board. Despite Paul dealing with the Asmorando. Bobble you. <laughs> and thank you, Paul. Reveals the land. Academy Manufacturer, pretty good in these Asmo decks. And pass back. Connor going to draw an upkeep thanks to the bobble. 
Paul draws for his draw step. All right, Marsh Flats for turn on Paul's side of the battlefield. And here is a Johnny Nakato Pride. This is the brand new, well, not brand new at this point, but it is the new Flip Planeswalker from Modern Horizons 3. It has a Planeswalker on the back, so be careful. If one of these cats die, Johnny's going to get angry and ignite his spark and gain a color. He's going to become a Boros kitty cat. Cookbook. Going to discard a card. One of each. Pretty good. And we got a frog. Oh, yeah, this is a frog deck, folks. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. I probably could have fit that in the title, right? Demir Frog at Asmo Frog Sieve. <laughs> what, a, what a concoction. Oh, it was a it was a Emery. I thought it was a frog. He does have psych oh no, he did draw a frog. Okay. Oh, it's unearth. I thought that was a frog. Unearth. Targeting as Miranda Dice Nicole Car. Asma Random Arn Dice to Coldicar. Gonna get another cook, but we are hungry. We're just making up so much food right now. And I mean, Connor has built up a pretty big uh, battlefield here. Connor talking about average card quality being too high on Paul's side of the board, but Connor has infinity cards on the battlefield right now. Not quite yet, obviously, but it's what we're working towards. <laughs> Lobbying for a pack and a draw? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense to not someone not concede. That being said, I, I told Adrian this after the match. I was like, I said, it didn't make sense for either of you to not concede. Like, one of them should have conceded. Um, <laughs> but that being said, I would not have conceded if I was either of them. Eh, talking about our last match. So if you're watching on YouTube, disregard this. But, yeah. All right, pass back. Time Steve's gonna be targeted by Emery. Time Steve. Activate a cookbook, discard, make one of each. Paul said, are you going infinite here? <laughs> and said, Connor goes, yes. All right, so we get to see it. So we're sacking five. He gets another turn. We untap. We draw. He's going to make a giant construct, kill all of Paul's creatures with Asmo, and we are on the way to game number two. So there we have it, folks. Connor going to pick up game number one here in the feature match area here at Impact Gaming Center in the fabulous Fairview Heights. Very interesting deck. Paul, I don't know, man. How are you going to beat this one? This one's a pretty tough deck to beat. Just comes at you from a weird angle that a lot of 
modern decks are not comfortable with or prepared to deal with. They'll be this will be interesting. Paul's a good player, so it'll be uh, it'll be fun to see. Cheers to you. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for joining us tonight. We do appreciate it. We stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Central. So if you are watching this on YouTube, make sure to head on over to twitch.tv slash Impact Gaming Center. Give us a follow. If you want, you can subscribe. It is September right now. So I think subs are like half off. So if you're watching this right now, consider becoming a subscriber. I'm going to switch it back down here. Y'all don't want to look at my face. So Connor just said, I'm glad I got to do the thing on camera. Paul said, now you just got to do it again so you get to do it more in, uh, in the finals. Obviously, we're not to the finals yet. We got two more rounds after this one, but I always love listening to the uh, player banter. I know, I know you guys probably can't hear it. I know you guys can't hear it as well as I can, but it's always interesting. <laughs> Paul said, let's do that again, but better for me this time. <laughs> I'm sure Connor would uh, love to have the exact same game as last, <laughs> last time around. <laughs> All righty, let's take a look at these hands. Paul's hand's hard to see. We got a Fatal Push. We got a Urza Saga. Unearth, some lands, Manamo, that's a land. Connor's going to try to go to six. Well, he's not going to try to go to six. He's, yeah, he's going to go to six. Alrighty, looks like both K, uh, both players are ready to party. Guide of Souls for Paul, pass back to Connor. Minamo, cookbook. Mountain. Uh, Johnny, yeah, this game's going a little bit different thus far <laughs> for for both players. Guy Soul's gonna get in there to take Connor to nineteen.
Got on Marsh Flats, grab a swamp, he says, down to 19. <clears throat> And here is the frog. All righty. Bobble. The, the daredevil or whatever the name of that black card is, kind of come back to hand. Static prison for Paul on top of his library. Connor said, I don't like to see that. And kind of going to draw on Paul's upkeep. <laughs> Paul said, that's a good one. I like that one. I really like having the mics, folks. If you're watching this on YouTube and you've seen our content before we had uh, the players mic'd and after, let me know which you like more. I like it because I know what the heck's happening. Static prison going to enter. Gonna attack the frog, Connor says. You sure? <laughs> and we're going to combat now. Get on in there. <clears throat> down to down to fourteen. Down to fourteen goes Connor. All righty. Polluted Delta. And we're going to fetch down to 13, if I can keep up. It's wild. it's wild to me how some of the people off camera I can hear better than the players at the table. Time Sieve enters the battlefield. Emery Lurker of the Lot. Emery Trigger response. Galvanic Discharge going to tag it. Mill four. All righty. Alrighty. Flage gonna enter the battlefield. Guide of Souls trigger up to 23, gains in energy. Down to four. Uh, we just got Asmo. Oh, Academy Manufacturer. Gonna discard as uh, Oval Street. Make one of each. And did Connor just do it on the last turn? Uh, time see we're gonna take an extra turn. 
Down to just one treasure. Gonna grab a cookbook. Thanks to Asmo. Yeah, there there is no current kill condition for Connor here yet. And we're gonna play the cookbook. Yep, gonna get the oval chase daredevil. So each turn, Connor's going to gain an extra food. I've drawn five cards, made five food. We're, we're shortcutting here because he's taking a bunch of extra turns. He didn't draw land. <laughs> He's going to kill Guide of Souls with the food, thanks to Asmoranda Desnanite, the Cola card. He's going to do it again to kill Johnny. Going to kill the cat. All right, that's going to be it. Connor going to get there with Demir Asmo Frog Sieve. What a name for a deck. Wow, that was pretty sweet to see. What happened, obviously, uh, Connor just m made a bunch of things, discarded a bunch of cards, took a bunch of turns, killed Paul. That's what happened. We shortcut it. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, thank you all so much. It's September. It is September, so you have half price subs right now if if you want to subscribe that would be amazing thank you all so much for hanging out if you're watching on youtube there's some some videos popping up watch them i guarantee you'll like them if you made it to this point in the video thank you all so much head on to impactgamingcenter.gg for all your magic the gathering tcg and tabletop gaming needs and if you're in the area come on up we'd love to meet you and game with you if you're in the uh, st louis area we're located at 49 ludwig drive in the fabulous Fairview Heights, Illinois. So thank you all so much. Again, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon, turn that bad boy on so you don't miss out on content like this. And until the next one, the next video, the next time I see you, whenever that may be, I will catch, I will catch, catch, I'll catch you on this flippy flop. Adios, everybody.